Hi, I'm Jeff, and welcome to my shop. In this video... Hey, get out of here. My video. Uh, oh. Hi, I'm Mark, and today I'll be making a 3D printed Mandalorian helmet uh, out of ABS, and I'll be constructing it using nail polish remover acetone. My first project I 3D printed in January was a Mandalorian helmet that I made out of PLA, which turned out pretty crappy, and hopefully this one turns out way better. Thanks. This helmet was too large for me to print in one piece, so I had to print it in 14 different pieces. This means my first step will be to clean up all the edges so it can be glued together properly. Acetone can melt ABS plastic, and when applied to two surfaces, it can bond them together. It's super easy to gauge when it's ready because it'll start sticking to the... So the whole thing's all glued up now, but I'm not super thrilled with how it turned out. I have these big gaps and across the top seam and some warps going on. So I think I'm gonna reheat heat the whole thing with the heat gun, try to reshape it so it fits together a little better, and then I'm gonna backfill it all with epoxy. And hopefully then we'll have something that we're a little more proud of.
now I've done two layers of Bondo. Everything's epoxied up, glued together, and uh, was able to fill all of the major cracks and it's starting to look like one solid piece. Um, still have a lot of more sanding to do and a lot more Bondoing to do, but I think we're off to a good start and should turn out pretty nice. Okay, so I'm back in the wood shop now, a couple days later. This whole thing's been painted, clear coated, and it's starting to look pretty good. Now all I have left to do is add the face shield, which is just a replacement face mask that I bought on Amazon for about five bucks, and some foam padding to make it a little more comfortable. So let's get to it. I start by making a paper template for the visor. Once I'm pleased with the shape and fit of the template, I transfer it over to the replacement face shield. Using spray adhesive, I attach the foam to the inside of the helmet. Okay, so it's all finished up. We got the padding on the inside, we got the visor in, and it's ready to be worn. Here, you want to give it a try? Ah. What the heck? This is like size for an eight-year-old. So this one's actually for an eight year old. I scaled it down to 92% and printed it. So my personal one that I have, I had to scale up to 103%. So hopefully this fits his head. Thanks for watching. And if you wanna see more content like this, I'm constantly 3D printing stuff, just leave a comment, right? Yep, perfect. Cool. So Lachlan, remember you gave me that really cool origami Yoda? Mm -hmm. So he's in my shop now, so he's always down in my shop with me. And I think your dad showed you some of the pictures of the cool helmets my son made. Mm -hmm. And since he knew you were so excited and like Star Wars stuff, he decided to make you something. So if you look under that bag. <laughs> <gasps> Boba Fett's helmet! No, it's no. actually it's the Mandalorian. Oh! Can I have it on? It's made for you. He thinks it's, he tried to make it so it would fit your head. No way! It'd be a little tight, but then there's padding up inside there. What? Let me see. see. Look at Mr. Jeff. Hang on, look at the, the towards him, honey. Kind of hard. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Tight, Just I guess. put it on real quick and look at Mr. Jeff. Put it on from the front oh, forward, and then front, and then back. Okay. So forehead first might work. There you go, let me see. Perfect. And Boba Fett, I mean the Mandalorian. Nice. They're pretty yeah. similar. They are pretty similar, they're, they're both Mandalorians. I can't believe he did that. Boba Fett is a bounty hunter, actually. Yep. 
Yeah. Wow, that is so. This cool. is awesome. Cool. Can you say thank you to Mr. Mark? Thank you. Tell um your son that I said thank you very much. I will do that for <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it.